Now, if you're in any other part of the world, this will be funny to you, but it is actually a serious issue in the state of Utah. Governor Spencer, that's the governor of Utah, is determined on making this rule like real thing, okay? He wants to ban explicit content on phones and tablets like he wants to rule it out he's really working on it hard but then there's some people in utah who are really against this especially one well-known adult film actor that's really against it and all that so there are those who are for it and those who are against it so obviously it will go to the court and if it gets to the court we'll get to know the outcome of it but then there are those two that feel like this not even court worthy so why is he doing all this? Why is he so bent on making this kind of rule for state of Utah? And one of the reasons is that he doesn't want kids to stumble on this kind of stuff on phones, like, you know, mistakenly and all that. But the thing is, I thought like parents were in control of what their kids have access to. So then for me, that's just a little bit off. But then there are people that really stand for that. I personally feel like these kind of rules and legislation shouldn't be forced on people. That's, that's just my thoughts. However, you should also understand that the world is passing away and the disaster of it all. And so we as believers really need to be focused and do what is right. So be accountable. Don't wait for some legislative rules and all that before you actually do what is right. You know, you're a believer. So let's go on to the next news, which is also interesting to me in a sense. And this is something that happened last year, but actually has started trending again. So there's this video. Let's just watch it. E essas mãos não mais me pertencem. Pecadoras, fracas, mas essas mãos pertencem a Jesus. Tanto que o sacerdote já age na pessoa de Cristo. Para servir, para so the fake news about this video is that it was said that the priest was preaching against fat people, that fat people, all fat people would go to hell and all that. That's fake news. The real truth of the whole thing is that the lady that came out and came to push the priest had mental health issues. Okay, so yeah, so that's it. It's not really something about somebody standing up to defy everything that we're doing or anything of that sort. No, this is just something that was related to mental health issues, which brings us to the point that, hey, I just hope that everybody's checks ashes are really doing their job well. Anyways, that's just by the way, but the main news was about Utah. <laughs> I'll keep you updated, but what do you guys think? Just, you know, Give me something in the comment section. Let's talk about it. I'll, I'll be glad to reply to you too. Let's, let's, let's just chat that. Stay blessed. Stay connected. Stay safe.